do you think you were eating a lot or were you actually statistically eating a lot of food? No, dude, I was stuffed. Well, like, dude, it's just like, like, you're like, bro, like, like, who are you fucking capping to? Like, you're not, you're not, you're not a scientific anomaly. Like, odds are you were not a scientific anomaly. Yeah, so I made a little, uh, <clears throat> post on Snapchat, and I basically asked, who wants to know some, like, some, let's just say quick tips of fat loss, okay? I got you guys with 10. Hit me with 10, okay? Tips. Quick disclaimer. I am not a coach. I am not a trainer. I am not a nutritionist. I did not get my degree in this shit, okay? Like, I'm not a doctor, okay? But I'm just giving you, like, basic shit here. Just be smart, people. Come on. All right, guys. So let's just get right into it. <coughs> so... The basic premise of fat loss and pretty much what everyone needs to really nail home in their head is it comes down to calories in versus calories out. So if you want to get down to just literally like the bare science, it doesn't matter exactly what you eat every day as long as you're eating less than your caloric maintenance. Your caloric maintenance being how many calories your body needs to sustain its current mass being both with muscle and fat level and daily activity level. The point is if you eat 2400 calories and that's how much you take, how much it, how many calories it is to maintain your current body weight, then you would just eat less than that every week and over time you're going to lose fat. Now with that being said, it's always going to be better to eat healthy, clean food sources. That being of your protein, your carbohydrates, and your fats. It's always better to eat cleaner foods because no matter what, the cleaner the food you have, you're going to have a cleaner body composition. You're going to feel better. Your digestion is going to be better. And especially if you're weight training, you really want the cleaner foods to be able to help act as energy and fill up your glycogen stores before you go to the gym. That's what the basics are. That's all it is. So if you want to basically like right here, th this is the only thing you really need to know. If you, if you want to lose weight, just eat less. Like that's basically what it is. You just have to eat less. Number two, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Another big tip that really helped me with fat loss and to really actually kind of stay on track is to understand that like it, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Like you're not trying to go in and expect to lose 20, 30 pounds of fat in two months. Is it possible? Fuck yeah. Oh, it's definitely possible. Are you probably gonna binge and rebound after because you are in such a unsustainable fucking caloric deficit that you literally wanna like eat fucking chalk just to be fucking satiated? Probably. So you really just want to get into the mindset that especially in this day's culture, like everybody wants everything now, 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 now. But to really have all your work, not just go to shit, it's really better to get into the mindset to like, okay, I'm gonna take 16 weeks and I'm gonna set together a plan and I'm gonna lose weight comfortably. Because weight loss doesn't have to be extremely difficult. It all comes down to like what your goal is, what your deadline is, and like how much you're really willing to suffer. Because at the end of the day, you wanna set this up for a long-term race. So like, it, it doesn't matter if you just go and like, like, let's say you go and lose 20 pounds in two months and you got your ideal body, do you really wanna go and fuck that up and rebound after? Like, it's really not worth it. And I, that's talking from experience. My post-show rebound was bad. I gained 20 pounds in two days and my body composition went to complete shit. And like, it was more mentally fucked to me than anything because you become so obsessed with your image, with your body, that you're checking yourself every day, weighing yourself every day. Like, dude, it just destroys you, especially because of the work you put in. Because it is, 10 times harder to lose the weight than it is the gain weight. Number three, food doesn't have to be boring. Okay, so this is quick and simple. So I know that the basic standard, especially see a lot of people that are dying is like chicken and rice, chicken and rice, and I'm literally that standard, but that's because I'm a fucking bodybuilder, dude. You don't have to eat just chicken and rice and broccoli and like plain shit, tilapia, cod. Like I said, it's calories in versus calories out. So at the end of the day, you just wanna make sure that you're under your caloric maintenance. So you can go and 
fast all day and only eat in a huge binge at night. Or you can literally just eat smaller meals throughout the day. As long as you hit your macronutrient goals and you hit your calorie goals for the day, then you're gonna be losing weight. Now, you can spice things up. And you just should kind of keep certain things in mind. The idea is to basically lower your calories. So the best thing that I could say for like making your food better is really like, really focus on spices, condiments, and just variation between your carbohydrate and protein sources. Basically just to spice it up. Because like I said, it's a marathon, so you really want to think of it for the long term. You don't want to just burn out eating the same shit fucking like for four weeks if you're gonna be like, fuck this, I can't do it anymore and eating like an entire pack of like mega stuffed Oreos. <laughs> like there's no point. But if you're able to do that, you're able to eat like simple shit, it's like keep doing it. Like that's literally what I'm doing. That's a that's literally what I'm doing. I mean chicken and rice, like for like most of my meals throughout the day. But I have a goal set in place, so for me it just doesn't matter. Like I, I know I know that if I need to I can switch it up, but right now I'm just kind of in a quick binge of like just chicken and rice, just because it's easy and it's simple for me. Like you can put time into having good meals, but like for me personally, I know this really helped me is when I just made simple meals. Basically when I just made meals that I can make easily, I don't have to think about it, it's not a force, I don't have to be like, oh, I have to make this fucking meal, it takes me like an hour and a half. Cause simplicity is key for me for staying on track for prep. Because if it's a force for me, and it's cause it's way easier to just go to McDonald's and buy a fucking like big Big Mac than it is for you to spend the time, buy the food, go grocery shopping, bring it back, cook it, prep it, fucking eat it, dude, poop it out, dude, like, trust me, I know. I cook every fucking day. <laughs> Track your calories and macros. This is stupid. This is, this should be, this is, this should be number two for how important this is. I don't even know how many times people be like, literally like, message me like, Oh dude, like, like what's your key to fat loss? Or like, dude, like, 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 yo, I've been dieting for, I've been dieting for like four or five months or like, I've been trying to bulk for like a year and you know, just nothing's working. So I just like gave up. I'm like, okay, well how much were you eating? Uh, like a lot. Like, okay. Like. Do you think you were eating a lot, or were you actually statistically eating a lot of food? No, nah, dude, I was stuffed. Or like, dude, it's just like, like you're like, bro, like, like, who are you fucking capping to? Like, you're not, you're not, you're not a scientific anomaly. Like, odds are you are not a scientific anomaly. There's some freaks, but 99% of you are not the fucking like freak. The people, the people that are saying they aren't losing weight eating a thousand calories a day. Like, I'm sorry to burst your bubble. You are not eating a thousand calories a day. Like there is no fucking shot. And you actually tracked your calories. You would understand how many calories you're eating, have a baseline to go off of, and you can make changes. <laughs> so like over time, you won't need to track per se, like all of your calories, everything you eat. If you get into the habit of minding what you eat, because in this day and age, like eating has become just second nature to us. When, if you really want to like buckle down and lose the weight or gain muscle, you have to put food as a forefront. You really need to understand that like you are what you eat. So track what you're eating and you can make adjustments from there. That's why it's good to have a baseline of what you eat. That's why I tell anybody before they go on a diet, just track what you're eating for a week. Don't change anything. Don't try to be like, oh, I'm a fucking fitness fuck. Like actually eat what you're eating and then you can adjust to be like, okay, if I take the soda out that I have five times out of the week, I actually lost two pounds at the end of the week. Or if you be like, oh, hmm. uh, me fucking binge drinking 18 IPAs for some reason is giving me a shit ton of a weight inflection on Saturday. <laughs> it's always good to track because then you can change and you understand everything and it becomes surreal. So you start thinking about it. It's just like when you took notes in class, it's because of that mind like muscle connection of like actually physically doing the action and like putting it on paper. So I, it, I, I borderline think it's impossible to lose weight without tracking your calories. So I 100% think you should do it. Download an app like MyFitnessPal. It's free on the App Store or fucking your like Google Play if you're fucking, it makes it wicked easy. You can track everything. You'll thank me later. It's a lifestyle. Okay. So I don't mean that in a douchebag way, but you have to basically associate your weight loss journey to like a weight loss lifestyle because anybody can go and just cut a shit ton of weight by not eating as much, get fucking nice and like diced for like summer, 
and then go right back to their bullshit and fucking gain 30 pounds and look like they never dieted for their entire life. You don't want that. At least I would hope you don't want that. You basically want to like, like it's okay, especially once you get metabolism going to like, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying you can't cheat here and there. You can't have some cheat meals. You can't have fun. You can't do that. But like, it's, if you turn it into a lifestyle, those couple days where you go and like fuck off and do shit won't affect you as long as the majority of the times you're sticking on your diet and you actually just conscious of what you're eating. So like you want to basically turn this into like, so you can just do this year round, just healthier. Just, just again, think about it as a lifestyle and not just like a single, like, like a one, like a race to the finish line. Like it's a marathon. So just keep on thinking of like the end goal because once you, once you start like really paying attention to yourself, dude, it will fuck you up if you fucking like fuck up all that hard work you've been doing. Tip number six, have multiple meals. I really believe that it makes your fat loss journey easier having multiple meals spread throughout the day to basically negate your hunger. So it gives your body the illusion of always kind of being satiated even though you're eating less. Because you can realistically space out your meals perfectly and go to bed not hungry. Because like I said, you can go and basically like fast or eat all your meals in the morning, but like you basically want to make this easier. Okay, you want to make this easier and food is good. A lot of us are quote unquote foodies. So <laughs> spread your meals throughout the day. You won't be as hungry as often. And especially if you're weight training, it's way more optimal to have meals in, especially before you go train, especially carbohydrates, especially being in a caloric deficit. If you're training or you basically have a high, like, high impact like job where you're basically like exercising a lot, it's better to have meals in so you can have the fuel to basically keep going throughout your day. Because you'll be surprised how crazy your energy starts dropping once you get leaner and once you're eating less. You're going to have to, number, Seven, you're gonna have to suffer. Now, this is the sorry truth that a lot of people need to understand. You are going to have to fucking suffer if you want to get that fucking dream body of yours. Like, you are going to have to be hungry. You're gonna to want to go out. You're gonna to want to go fucking with your fucking girls and go drink fucking endless mimosas on Sunday morning. Like, but you have to understand, like, you have a goal in your mind, okay? So it's like, if, 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 it was easy as fuck to be like shredded year round or to just look like fucking your favorite Instagram or TikTok model. Everyone would be doing it. It wouldn't be a fucking like special thing to be like, oh wow, that guy, that guy looks fucking sick. Like, wow, that guy fucking looks juice to the gills. Like, it's because of work, dude. You have to put in the work. You have to, some people again are genetic anomalies that are able to like eat fucking endless piles of shit and still be shredded. Unless if you are that person, you cannot live that lifestyle and have the same results. So, have a mindset in place that like, dude, you're gonna have to suffer. There's gonna be nights you're gonna be hungry. There's gonna be times you're gonna be hungry. There's gonna be times you're like fucking low, low on fucking energy. And you're just like about to fucking eat the entire thing of fig newtons, but you can't. Think about the end goal. I know it sucks. I know it's harsh, but like, dude, if you're not willing to put in the work, you're not gonna get the fucking results. So it's like, it's not for everyone. Not everyone's gonna be shredded. I'm sorry to put it, but like it, you should at least try, like try to do this. So like really try to put your all into it and understand food is energy. Like food is important, but food should not be abused. Building muscle will make it easier to eat more. This, this is perfect. So the more muscle mass you have, the more calories it takes to maintain that muscle mass. So your maintenance level is basically determined by how much muscle mass you have on your body and how much like energy you need to actually fuel your muscle source. That's why guys that are fucking like huge and jacked, girls that are huge and jacked, they can be eating like 3000 calories and be fucking shredded. It's because that's how much calories they need to maintain the current amount of muscle that they have. Because muscle is expensive in terms of calories. So it's way fucking, it's way fucking harder to keep a fucking 210 sub 10% body fat physique going than a 120 pound fucking like string bean. But that goes for the same for even if you're like a larger person that the bigger you are, the more food you're going to need. That's why guys that are really tall, like 6'6", six, six, can, can eat like 7,000 calories and still and be fucking like losing weight. 
It all comes down to your fucking genetic makeup and your structure and to keep the weight off. So that's why it's good to go for weight training or resistance training because it's actually better than cardio to get muscle, to, to have weight loss. Because building more muscle, like I said, keeps the weight off. Cardio is used as a supplement. Okay, so this is another big thing. A lot of people, when they think, oh, I gotta lose weight, I gotta lose weight fast. What do they do? They go on the fucking treadmill and they're trying to run like fucking, like they're like running sprints, dude. Sprints. Cardio should not be your main source of putting yourself in a deficit. Because yes, when you do cardio, you are going to basically be burning calories. You're gonna be obviously using energy to burn the calories to do the movement. And you're gonna be in a greater deficit, but you cannot outrun a bad diet. So you can run as much as you want in that fucking treadmill. If you're eating like shit that entire day, there's no way you go on a treadmill and burning even 800 calories is going to fucking like be enough to put you in a deficit. So you really want to be fucking, you, you really want to be on top of your diet because the diet is key. Once you're in the diet, you're eating a deficit, the cardio is just on top because you just want to make it easier. At the end of the day, it's all about making it easier. Finally, consistency is key. Just consistency is key. All the little days add up to the bigger picture. So remember that for fat loss, remember that. That's all you need. As long as you keep doing this over a long span of time, six out of the seven days out of the week, you only fuck up on one day, you're gonna be looking pretty good by the end of the year. But obviously, the goal is to stay as clean cut as possible. But all right guys, that was just a quick fucking 10 tips for fat loss. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want more content like this, let me know in the comments below. Don't be a bitch. Hustle. That dream body can be yours. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.